Oh, hello there. This is, uh, this is Bertie's dad. Obviously, I've got a dog called Bertie. That's where the channel name comes from. And I really hope you've all been enjoying watching my videos and uh, seen a little 350 classic going going around the country lanes and uh, all sorts of different speeds and that, and showing you what it's, it's capable of. Because most of the most of the uh, videos you've seen of the 350 only sort of show you bimbling, bimbling about you know, fairly slow and uh, it's good at that obviously it is like you only get the character full you know thump 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 but it can go a bit as well anyway when I started this channel up one of the first things I said was I wanted to uh, get get me mitts on a 650 interceptor and uh the 4th and 5th of November at Intermoto Warrington here, it's a uh, Royal Enfield day and I've done it, I've managed to get myself booked in at 10 o'clock in the morning to ride an interceptor and uh, <clears throat> am I looking, yeah I have, I'm sort of looking forward to that, yeah, <laughs> although it's only a half an hour ride I won't be able to go too far and most of the roads around this area are 30 miles an hour so you, you can't do too much. I don't know how many miles will be on the bike, although um, if it's a demonstrator, it might have come from another branch and got a few miles on it. But I've got a pretty good idea where I want to take it. Whether I've got, got enough time to get there or not, I don't know. So I'll see, you know, see tomorrow. Right? And straight after that, I come back and uh, take out a Himalayan 411. And I haven't ridden one of those before, so that's. I'm yeah, quite looking forward to that, you know, and uh, <clears throat> of course the thing is, you've got the 450 coming out, which is supposed to be a lot more power, or well, they're saying it's a lot more power than the, the 411, but of course it's only just come out and they won't filter into the uh, showrooms, I shouldn't think, for a, a little while, and the thing is, Intermoto knocked a thousand pounds, the best part of a thousand pounds, off the price on them. So uh, now you can get a brand new Himalayan 411 for four thousand pounds. Now that's not to be sneezed at. I mean, the newer 450, when it comes out, I should think it's going to be, you know, a little bit dear. I should think, right? So it's worth buying the 411, even if you'd sort of run it for two or three years. You know, if you if you're getting on well, you love the bike. I mean, you, you never know, Hitchcock's might have a, a, a kit for it by then. You can stick the 450 on it, the 450 barrel and upraise it. So you haven't got to set, actually get rid of the bike and uh, part exchange it. Well, I think they've actually got a kit for the, takes it up to a 460. You know, even a little bit more. You know, so there's options there. And of course, after that, after I've reviewed that, have a little bit of a you know, break, cup of coffee and that lot. Now I'm taking out a, a Bullet 500 Trials. And that is an absolute cracker of a bike that is. I've had a good look over it. I think it's got a, a nice blue frame to it. And both the side boxes on you know, either side are chrome plated. And it's got the upswept Trials exhaust on it. It really does look the part. So I'm really looking forward to that one. <laughs> And uh, Gilly's Bikes, you know, <coughs> another motor vlogger, really good channel, he's got a very polished output, like, you know, really professional. He's going to be there, and uh, hopefully he'll be there at the same time as me, if I'm lucky, and I might be able to bump into him and get some ideas and inspiration from him, which would be good. And anyway, thank you all for subscribing. Hopefully you're enjoying what I'm putting out, and uh, you know I've got a lot more to go. <laughs> like you know, but yeah, of course things might slow down once we get into the proper you know winter. Well, I don't mind it being cold as long as there's not ice you know, on the road. Like you know, that's fizz ice. Bronwyn's not coming out of the shed. <laughs> you know, but anything apart from that, well, just hope we have a mildly sort of, sort of winter really uh, uh, <coughs> just like to say thank you to all my subscribers and uh, uh, people liking the channel and that and uh, 
I'm having the greatest fun making the videos and hopefully you're having fun coming along with me lot, you know. So uh, thank you very much. Bye bye for now. And hopefully that's taken it. Thank you.